Welcome back to Cyberpunk, guys. So we uh, met Dexter Deshaun last time and we got our eyes upgraded. Upgraded, not upgraded, that'd be painful. So we're going to go and pick up this quick hack and then we're going to go and meet Evelyn and then I will be playing the game completely blind, which I'm excited about. So we need to get up there, but the, um, the map is telling us to go this way. I can't remember. Oh, that bridge, I guess. Uh, we need to go to um, Lizzie's between 6 and 6, so we've still got plenty of time. Um, I haven't said this, but I might have said it in a comment, I'm not sure. But I'm going to be avoiding fast travel, because we have, we have a car, so there's just no need. And I won't be doing time skips if I don't have to. Hang on left here. There we go. Oh, watch yourself. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is where we go. Oh yeah, sorry to break immersion. I'm just I'm going to keep turning off this vehicle camera at the start. Cuz I feel like it might mess some cutscenes up when we're in the car cuz I hadn't really thought about it and then we were speaking to Jackie before. And it just seemed to zoom us in too much. Hello. Can anyone get into net running? How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. Okay, fair but enough. if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. Okay, um, T-Bug sent me. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Yeah, I've got a Militech power line, apparently. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Yeah. Sort me out, Yoko. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You yeah, might sure. extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. The audio seems a little loud. I don't know. Okay, so this is the free one. Ping. Reveals enemies and devices connected to the local network. So that'll be vital for stealth. Right, what, well, um, S street cred is SC, yeah? Overheat, short circuit, okay, so the, that was the one we used in the tutorial, what's this? Components, okay, so that's for crafting. Weapon glitch, jams a target's weapon, rendering it temporarily unusable. That could be good, right? Request backup, calls over one enemy squad member. One version of the program led to a political crisis in the Middle East where it was used on an entire Arasaka tank division, causing them to surround a building where critical peace negotiations were taking place. Okay, that would be good for relocating enemies, I guess. Short circuit, non-lethal. Might need that for the cyber psycho stuff, yeah? Overloads an enemy's micro circuits, producing a devastating electrical current of almost 2 million volts. Moderate damage, so that's like a direct thing and weapon glitch. During the Unification War, Militech soldiers feared little more than, their, than the chance their weapons might jam in the heat of battle. Jams a target's weapon, rendering it temporarily unusable. Uh, for 30 seconds, that's pretty good. 
I imagine that would be really good to use with a melee build. So I'll keep that in mind, actually, because you could just glitch out the weapon and then get in and slice and dice. Because uh, we're quite fragile at, at the minute. Sorry, just that was like an accidental Death Stranding quote. Uh, equipping quick hacks in your cyberdeck. The cyberdeck has limited capacity for quick hacks, but you're free to swap out which ones you've installed on it whenever you wish to do so. Go to your inventory. Select the quick hack slot to open the mod screen. Select the oh cyberdeck slot. Where is that? Cyberware. Uh. Oh right, there we go. Yeah. So we've taken out short circuit for reboot for ping. I feel like that'd be okay, but we're because we're so early on. I feel like having ones that are purely for stealth and like reconnaissance, right, uh, are much better. Whereas this is just direct damage and we're just not strong enough to utilize that just yet so i'm happy with these two okay we need to get some better clothes i feel <laughs> uh, oh we got those we got that stuff from from victor right and I, I, i'm gonna check the crafting out I'm, i always get so we can craft health stuff just straight away Okay, why is this blocked? So we need a perk. We need the True Craftsman perk to upgrade this. So it might be worth doing some investment in in the uh, tech tree. But we've got one perk point available. Okay. Um, I have had a look at this, but not for a, a few days. Okay, crafting specs for quick hacks. That's good. So that's separate to the tech stuff. Reveals an enemy net runner. I seem to remember there was one that was good for earning money. When I was kind of trying to decide what builds. Because I liked the intelligence trees because they had a lot of unique stuff in. It was much less just like stat boosts. Yeah, access points, yeah, highlights, access points, and there was something for money anyway. Three minutes, I think that that'll be pretty important. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely like that. We've not really gone to any data points though, have access points, have we? But that'll be good. Yeah, I really would like to have a, a steady flow of cash, <laughs> right? And uh, I'm just going to pile a bunch of points into intelligence, so... Upload ping to the camera to find the access point. Access points are your way into local networks, allowing you to gather valuable data that may yield rewards in some parts of the game. Okay. We need uh, 1C55. Okay, so we're going to need to go a different route here, aren't we? So we've got a buffer, so I guess this is, we've got a timer and the buffer is how many ones we can click. So if we've only got two, like we could do different things for the first three and we only need to get it before the end, I think. Right, nice. Extracts a small amount of Euro dollars, components and or quick hacks, yep.
Thanks, Yoko. Yoko Suru. Right. I can't believe there's no way down from here. That feels kind of silly. <laughs> right? I think I'm just going to jump down. Excuse me! Hey, thanks! Rough night. <laughs> right, we need to decide what we're doing next. So yeah, we're going to go to Lizzie's. Okay, so... Let's read up on the place before we go. I know we went in the prologue, but... Uh, once a third-rate brothel in Sticky Dive, today Lizzie's Bar is the bread and butter of the Moxes. The club boasts high-quality brain dancers to use in the comfort of specialised booths. You can also see a live show, have a drink and show a few moves on the dance floor. In 2067, Lizzie's Bar was the scene of a Joy Toys horrific murder, sparking riots among sex workers, eventually resulting in the gang known as the Mox. Okay, so they're quite a new gang then, 10 years old. And I guess it's uh, the Mox run the place, I guess. The Mox, the youngest established gang in Night City. Its beginnings date back to 2067 when the murder of a sex worker sparked riots that lasted days. The gang formed out of the protesters pro protesters attracted many others to its ranks for years after. The Mox is a motley crew of current and former sex workers, punks, freaks and all kinds of outcasts. The gang's main headquarters is Lizzie's Bar, a brain dance club that serves as the Mox's main source of income. The gang's aesthetic is characterised by aggressive kitsch, loud colours, plastic and latex. Uh, yeah, we read about Watson, and this is the map. Okay, so I would like to buy some clothes. Oh, we haven't really got any money. There's a ripper dock here, because that's not Victor, is it? Victor's back over here somewhere, yeah. A couple of ripper docks around here. We'll come back when we've got some more money. Cyber psycho sighting. Oh, uh, is that is that Regina herself? Is she at Lizzie's? Kind of looks like it. All right, uh, I think we should just head straight there. Now. Hello. Right. What radio stations are we going with? So I've listened to these a bit, obviously, while I was testing mods out, and they're all pretty good, to be honest. Uh, I like electronic music, so. There were, there were a few different ones. I think Samzy Dot was electronic, right? Nice. Right, off to Lizzie's. It's really awkward driving in first person, but I don't know what this bobbin head dog is sig signifies. But... Oh, right. Here's Lizzie's. Careful. Alright. Okay, 
Okay, so we know that the Mocks are a young gang. This is their headquarters. So maybe uh, being a bit sassy towards that one when we came here last time was a, a bad idea. Yeah, so they're very kitsch, essentially. So lots of bright colours. Hey there, doll face. Hello. Interest you in a preem VD? Sure. Um, should we really go for the corpo response here? Hey, what'll it be? Yeah, sure. Brain dance. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Uh, maybe. How much is it gonna cost though? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> there a problem? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. Yeah. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Oh. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Oh. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Oh my god. Alright, this video is not going to be monetized. Hey, uh, what's going on? strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, 
insured and had decent security. Good spot on the home. Yeah, good old days. Nah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. All what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Right. And biz booms to this day. Awesome. Uh, you, uh, we can have a drink first, right? What's on the menu? Oh, right. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'm uh, looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Oh, right. Is, is that... Is that cool? You gonna say something? We've, we've got six in cool, right? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. It's waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. Hello. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why didn't you say something? Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Um, is that reflex? Is that reflexes or tech? V? Uh, why here specifically? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Protection, Actually, I guess? It doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Oh, I want a, I want my drink. Oh. Nothing's wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Hmm. Don't know him well enough. Haven't worked together long. That is the truth. Let's just cut to the chase. Let's not cut her off here. We need I'm to waiting. play the game a little bit. I'm the best is a bit of an exaggeration. You don't care what Dex thinks I am. Yeah, I don't think she really... Does she really care what Dex thinks? She's just using him to get to us, right? You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Uh, I don't know if I want to pick this. Uh, I'd like to be honest. I, I'd just like to be honest with it, just because v? I feel like Dex was kind of talking to us like he like he's expect like we're kind of expendable, right? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers: those with stable crews on yeah. long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Mm. 
Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Yeah. Yeah, like looking for a crew he's never used before. He shows up out of nowhere. Not done any work for two years. I'm it's waiting. All, it's all really sus, right? And he's not even, he's only got, he only had one guy with him. Okay. Explain. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Okay. So, business? Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Superior yeah. soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? <laughs> Not my first time. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? Been. In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Hmm. Telling me you're one of them? Yeah, he'll be well guarded, I imagine. Top dog like you are Nobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Yeah, so from what I remember, from what I read, the it was I don't know if it's still the case, I can't remember, but Ar Arasaka was like fractured. I'm waiting. Was fractured at one point. And I think it was some of um the main guy's kids, Yorinobu probably included, who who led a few different factions of Arasaka. It was weird, I I'm not entirely sure on the specifics. So is he he himself part of the job? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Yeah. All right. Details. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims oh. to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what, does he want to defect? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. 
Right. Why Netwatch? Why not a bigger corp? <sighs> no, they don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Yeah. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Okay, so they want a bit of skin in the game, I guess. So where exactly does he keep it? That must be hidden. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Yeah, I've, I've heard some things about him. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. This isn't distracting at all. Right, uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just got a taste for power. It's quite common in Arasaka, well, right? what do you think? Could be another power-hungry corpo, Dick. Mm. Like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... Yeah, true. Sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And when you plan to exploit fully. You know what this relic has on it? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Yeah. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Well, she does look a little bit uncomfortable, I have to say. Like she's kind of punching above her weight a little v? bit. V? Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling yeah, virtual tits. Here. Jacking off to in those boxes. Like anything else? Maybe. No. It can be a very oh, useful right, tool. Mom. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Yeah, she was talking about him, what she said about him being the Emperor's son, so she must know him. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Yeah? Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. Okay. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue.
tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. <laughs> this is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. <laughs> what do you Sky think? Ignored. Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Uh, no. I don't think so. Raw brain dance. Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right. Create your sensory profile first. What's that exactly? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Oh, right, okay. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. All right, go for it. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Do this often? <laughs> Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh, what did you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Yeah, I, I can't remember any of this, so. Boot it up. Mm hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and
Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. Okay. You're alive and well. Yeah, I could have, uh, could have told me I was going to flatline. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. All right. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Oh, odd. Don't. <laughs> creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the creative. You don't need to Yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing like the Kree. You don't need to touch cash. Nail the BD to go sacrifice. Got it. And everything on full blast. That's why I get an eye. Okay, you go. Okay, right here. Okay, it indicates currently selected layer, yellow for visual, blue for thermal, green for sound. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, the clues will disappear from the track. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything. Right. Every little detail. Even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now, you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go 
Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Up on the ground! You wanna... Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. So you're kissing the foreign! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! I heard the- I heard it cock. I heard the gun cock. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Right. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Right, right, anyway, right. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Right, so people want to experience death. So he thought he was ex he was doing it so people could experience a robbery. Like, you know, for the adrenaline. So he lied to him just so that he could shoot him on the way out. That is dark, right? That is really dark. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... Yeah, yeah he's got shot in the head. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Uh-oh. Not what we agreed, Ev. Uh, Evelyn? Evelyn? I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Thanks. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Yeah, Judy and Evelyn. Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. You're helping me work through this, BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisecond. Okay. 
Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. <laughs> She's not happy. <laughs> She's really not happy. Hello? Oh, there we go. Right? There we go. <laughs> Harvey, eyes open. <laughs> Gotta find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. Right, so I, I figure we've watched the whole thing through. Well, now we can... You look like a cut of fuckable meat. <laughs> Are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. You guys know who that is, right? Adam Smasher. Oh my god, man. He Just terrifying, man, Adam Smasher. Jackie mentioned him right at the beginning as well. But he's kind of yeah. He, he, he essentially is an almost cyborg. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? I said no! They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Oh, can I... do I not have... Oh, the, uh... The objectives have gone behind the camera, sorry. Oh, well. Uh, there was one that said just watch it through. I guess once I paused it, I kind of didn't do that. I'll, I'm going to watch it all the way through just cleanly once. We shall see soon enough. So we walk in. Adam smashes here. He's having a conversation on the screen. My father's a tired, visionless old grey beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to Sabro is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's decent. Removed from the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in no. some fossilized vision of a world. Same bubbly you'll be sipping in real space soon. That no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Not it. In mm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will. We will. Just, I just want to watch it through cleanly once. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Romantic. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Okay. Uh, got some email.
Oh god, let's go back to the start right now. Right. So there's Evelyn. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Right, so we've got stuff nearby that we can scan already, going by the timeline. An alarm system. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. What did any of that mean, T? Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. We need to tag like each of those cameras because that's not on the timeline, is it? I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. Okay. Sound source here. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling. The servers. Gotta be. Fancy ah. doodads in here need to be controlled. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. So is that the same conversation there? I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Um. Documents, is that what you mean? He put the, the, the thing down, right? Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Very long for you. Is everything alright? Has it yeah. done that? Just one thing. You should have taken that one. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Here we go. Oh, that's another security camera. That looks like a, I don't know what that is. A turret? Automated wow. turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Uh, there were some emails here, right? That we might want to read. Yeah, the, 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 this, we've had this email. The penis nano gel. Okay, from Angelica Miliotti. Uh, clouds. Subject, your time in the clouds. 
that metaphor. Dear Mr. Arasaka, as always, we thank you for using our services. We hope Clouds was able to make your stay in Night City more pleasant, unforgettable even. We'd be honoured to serve you again. Sincerely, Angelica Miliotti, Senior VIP Services. Looking for the perfect Clouds. thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. What love is. Right. There's some more stuff here then. A gun. Liberty. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Okay. Until you Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on oh. thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Okay, see the the uh, objectives have moved back to where I had them programmed. Oh, thermal layer. Okay. Scan for thermal clues to find the relic. The warmest point in this scene is probably right there. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to rewind, perhaps. Oh, no, no, no. Not more copyright claims. Evelyn! Oh, 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 I missed one. Ah, you like this. Stop with the... No, 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 stop, stop. No music. Aha! Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Ah! Beautiful. You can find it. I've not got head for this. Then, you shall. Alright, so. Looks like. An ice bucket, right? For champagne, yeah. Oh, Donna Gies. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? <laughs> no way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Perish for good cause. But let's go. I need to try to Right, hello. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. As is. Well, Hang on, there's one more thing. Enough. Please speak with your father. He's the guilty for internet. Just a fancy ass fridge. Okay. Well, that seems like everything then. All right. Beautiful. Good work, T. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Thanks. Put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Yeah, we really needed that. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. G 
Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Well, I'm not sure about Evelyn, that. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Man, the, the intimacy of these cutscenes is just on another level, right? How close you are to people and the facial animations are so specific. Not specific, but just so One accurate. Sec. Uh, until next time, Judy. Well, don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. <laughs> On what? Whether you come alone or with the tag along, like a net runner. No runners, I promise. See ya. <laughs> oh man. Hang on. Is there anything in here? Aha! Hold on. Brain dances. Anything else? Let's walk. Yeah, sure. Well, what do you think? Okay, so... Can you explain your connection to Yorinobu a bit more? Think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. Yeah, he must be like suspicious of anyone he's involved with romantically, right? Just because of who he is. I mean, he? Yorinobu must be at least a hundred years old himself. I'm not sure when he was... I, can't, I don't know exactly when he was born, but if Saburo had, was born in 1918, do you know what I mean? He must be at least a hundred himself. You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Fair enough. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, do you think that it's not going to kind of come back to you, though? Kind of some of the specific details? Well, you're not worried. What do you think? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone yeah. who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? I mean, maybe Evelyn's not telling us who she is exactly. Maybe she's someone really important undercover or something. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kanpeki. Wins are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. Mm. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Okay. I suppose the fact that she's known Judy for so long, Judy obviously works for the Marks, would suggest she's not someone V undercover, you know, working for a corp like working for Militech or Biotechnica or, net, or net, even Netwatch, I guess. No, it wouldn't be Netwatch if they're already dealing with Yorinobu, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, she could be like a long-term undercover, maybe. I don't know. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Why do you... Why do you not want to involve him? You want to fuck over our fixer. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. 
That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. Mm. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Dex doesn't trust us. That's nonsense. That really is nonsense, right? We just met him. He's been gone for two years. Well, what do you think? So I think we consider this because Dex has just kind of come out of the blue. So I'll think about it. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. Yeah. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. Thanks. I need a few words with Judy. Sure. Awesome, man. Awesome. Right, now. See you, V. See you later, Evelyn. Alright, we got any... How things look in uh -oh. this, V? Uh, why? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that ship without that bot. To work then, Miss V. Ooh. Right, so, in turn, yeah, I'm completely blind now. That's that's as far as I played up to um, when the when the game first came out. Beautiful, Jackie. Yeah, I met with the client. ED. I, I, just keep me posted. Sure. All right. Got anything we can take from here? Some fresh makeup. Yep. Oh, cashola. Right, how the hell do we get out of here? I think we came in through this door, right? Can we open this door? Absolutely not. Alright, let's uh let's get out of it. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada yada yada. All the while, I'm angling to get a word in, cause I need her to cover for me that afternoon when I go to pick my daughter up from preschool. But it's chill, you know. Then this guy stumbles in, whacked out, almost knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape sheet inside? Nah, get this. Shum says he wants real fun, real flesh, punch an animal like. No virtue shit. He knows it's not allowed, but he'll pay triple. So Gina, what she do? Drags the gonk back to a box. Guy's so high, he thinks the BD trolls are some fancy ass toy. And Gina loads the orgy with the infinite loop <laughs> orgasm at the end. <laughs> You're kidding. And he couldn't tell? Nah, come on! <laughs> Even when they're sober, still think that Bukaki finish is real. Fucking hell. We are doomed. Uh, as, as a human race, I mean. Look at the lighting though, man. It's so amazing. Okay, that's where, yeah, that's where we had the meeting. 
Oh, nice. You guys carry on. Ugh, I still feel like shit. Little hair of the dog. Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. There's so many little things in here, it's quality. Close to me. What was this guy's name? Mateo. All right. Take one of the cool cars. No. The Bart Moss collect. First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Okay, that's weird. Alright, let's quickly level up. Yeah, more money is just beautiful, so. And I'm just going to keep piling points into intelligence. Uh, now, which was a crafting thing, a basic thing that would allow us to upgrade our gun? Uh, grenades, disassembly, craft epic items. Maybe it's that. What? Uh, no, it, it told us which one it was, right? We need the true craftsman perk. Why couldn't they just put the names above? Damn you! True craftsman, okay. Let's you craft rare items, so... Yeah, I'll we'll probably pick that up. That that'll let us upgrade that gun, I think, because that that will upgrade it to what to our current level, maybe 101 DPS. It's only on like was it 40 at the minute, right? 50. Yeah, that's a huge increase. Yeah, we'll definitely maybe pick that up then on the next level up. I probably should have done that then, to be honest. We got some new shoes, but I don't particularly like. I don't know. We're kind of the red kind of matches, right? I don't really like Converse. I want to kind of stick to kind of clean leather stuff, but that goes with our outfit and our hair a bit, I suppose. <laughs> uh, more armor, I guess. Breaking into vehicles. Oh, never mind. All right, guys, um, I'm going to leave that episode there. Awesome. And we're at, a, we're at the point now where I'm completely blind, which is great. And that's as far as I've played in terms of the story and everything else, so beautiful. Um, yeah, uh, interesting dynamics there. With, we've got Dexter, Deshaun on one side, we've got Evelyn on one on the other side. T-Bug's kind of like, I don't know, should, I'm a bit worried in terms of T-Bug's loyalty because of what she said when we were in the elevator going to the scavs. And she was like, kind of di tried to disassociate, uh, disassociate herself from us. 
as a as like a part of the group. Um, yeah, I definitely don't trust Dexter, but I don't necessarily trust Evelyn either, because she, this seems like a really like she's she's either not who she says she is, or she's desperate for some reason, right? You know, I feel like there's a, a hidden factor, like something she's not telling us because. For her to be doing this all on her own is is a bit sus, right? So maybe she's working for Militech or something like that. Uh, they want that would be like the ultimate betrayal from Saburo, I suppose, or for you know for Arasaka's tech to end advanced technology to end up in Militech's hands, right? Have you got any extra trousers? We've oh, got those horrible shorts. All right, guys. So. I don't know what we'll do in the next episode, but I'll figure it out. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a thumbs up if you did. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.